What is going on today, guys? Welcome back to the episode of WNN, your source for the music and music production news, and your source for finding out what countries are banning what genres. Apparently, Chechnya is banning dubstep and funk. You'll find out later in this video. We'll also be talking about this leaked Behringer VST, as well as Astrolab. Let's get started. Arteria has released the Astrolab keyboard. What the hell is this? It's over the top, man. We got this girl flying through space. Then we got the insane microscopic close up of the keyboard. Okay, now I'm thinking that might be a child. Arteria, stop putting kids in space for your dumb ads. This is getting ridiculous. This is not the first time. Oh man. Ads are something else. Just sell me on the thing. You don't have to wow me with this whole theatrical experience. It is a 61 key stage keyboard that comes with over 1300 sounds and you can add more if you have the V collection. The selling point of it seems to be the integration between the keyboard and your computer. You can save sounds on it then transfer them to your computer or vice versa, helping make the transition from composition to performance more seamless. It is semi-weighted, it features aftertouch, it has 10 sound engines, four macro controls, 12 insert effects. I don't really have much to say about it, it's just like a modern keyboard. The interface of it is quite interesting. The board's a Canada tribute and Aphex Twin tribute, that's kind of nice. You know, those guys don't get enough credit, especially the Beatles there, they don't get enough credit. It does not include the V collection, sadly. If you have it though, you can access another 9,000 sounds. You know, at a certain point you gotta ask yourself, how many sounds is too many sounds? Because with the V collection included, it sounds like a little bit too many sounds, but hey, you know, maybe you can find the perfect one that just makes your song not suck suddenly, right? Anyways, you can get it for the low price of $2,000 and it's gone. All right, we got some breaking news here, guys. Chechnya has banned dubstep. In fact, they've banned any BPM below 80 and above 116. I'm not making this up. I This is so fucking weird. But yeah, Chechnya bans dubstep, <laughs> air horns. Let's go, let's go, dubstep. I'm, I'm just fucking around. I like, I like me some dubstep, but that's uh, that's that's fucking weird, man. That is really fucking weird. So this is coming to us from Music Tech. Russian artists are told to rewrite their music. Well, drum and bass is forbidden, bros. Drum and bass bros, it's so over. Uh, Russian drum and bass bros, it's so over, apparently. Funk is, I think this includes funk also, which is like basically where funk has taken off, drift funk in particular. According to the Moscow Times, a statement from Chechnya's culture ministry states that from now on, all musical, vocal, and choreographic works should correspond to a tempo of 80 to 116 beats per minute. There's no way people are actually going to follow this. I don't think that's going to happen. You have to rewrite your music by June 1st or they're going to uh, shoot you, I guess. Now, uh, it won't be allowed for public performance. So I guess maybe it'll still be fine to be streamed or something. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's Russia. I, I would be careful. We just got some breaking news, guys. Apparently, the CDJ is not feeling too good. Maybe it needs some soup. And our next story, apparently Behringer has been making a synth VST, and it got leaked to the public, and there's footage of it. Roll it. It sounds like the stock in a 19 patch in Reason. This guy's quite the performer. All right, this is hurting so far. Let me skip ahead a bit. I'm just gonna play a few sounds of it here and there. Boy, my left ear is really enjoying this. Brian Eno would cream his pants to get his hands on this. Yeah, 
I don't know. It's not really anything impressive. Um, so there was a website to download it, but it got taken down. I don't think it was supposed to come out yet, but there is information about it on this Music Radar page. According to them, in, back in 2019, they asked their Facebook page what they thought about the company creating its own range of VST plugins, and they claim to be working on a free DAW. I need to see that. We need to see that. Was it going to be like FL Junior or something? Or maybe instead of FL Studio, just L Studio? <laughs> instead of Reaper, Raper? <laughs> Uh, I cracked myself up. So this is apparently supposed to be modeled on classic analog synths of the 70s. Uh, from what I just heard, uh, it sounded kind of eh, eh, kind of garbage. I don't know. So it's got a couple oscillators with hard sync, two LFOs, pair of filters, same number of envelopes. So I actually did read this on their Facebook page earlier. I happened to somehow navigate my way to it in like a comment section where they responded to it. But it, it apparently it was leaked and it wasn't supposed to be out yet. So that's why you can no longer download it. But hopefully they work on it more because this is not... It's not impressive too far. I mean, I don't know. But hey, I mean, it's free, I guess. It's free. So it's about on par with a lot of other free things. But I mean, you have free sense like vital. So have you ever thought to yourself, man, I really wonder if it'll sound good when the DJ plays my song and he's clipping. Well, you don't need to wonder that anymore, nor do you need to test it yourself because they made a plugin for that. This website's a serious throwback here. Prepare yourself for the jump scare. It's like one of those websites that was ahead of the time in the early 2000s. People like saw this sort of web design. They're like, damn, that's a nice website. That's a futuristic looking website. But now not really looking as futuristic, I feel like. Okay, so it's a plugin called G Sonic Club Sound System Emulator. Just really saying what it is there. <laughs> Not really going for a short, catchy name. What they state on their website is very true. Have you ever tried to play your music in a club? Did you know that it will most likely sound completely different on a club sound system than on small monitors on hi-fi? Did you know that many problems in sound resonance on pleasant frequencies in the mix will probably be emphasized, multiplied by many times? That is some very true stuff. It is. It can be really bad. It can be really bad. It might sound a little muddy on your home system. You play it there, suddenly everyone's running out of the venue. So this plugin simulates what it would be like to hear your song on various sound systems using IR response and modeling technology. You could set it at different input levels to test like what it would be like if the DJ <laughs> redlined your song. Okay, so they have an introductory price of 17.9 euros for only the first 70 customers. So I'm surprised they haven't had their first 70 customers yet, kind of getting in at the ground floor on this. Uh, it's kind of hard to, you know, say how good this is because I don't, they haven't even had 70 customers yet. That's a little, anyways, it's normal priced uh, 29.9 euros. In our next story, Billie Eilish has announced her next album and she has stated that it is meant to be listened to as one cohesive body of work. <clears throat> who's who's going to tell her? In our next story, Akai has finally delivered the NPC stems for standalone. Let's go check it out. Hey, that doesn't look like the stems. It's a synth with limited capabilities and it just focuses on sounds that you would hear in Jamaican music, reggae, reggaeton, drum and bass, etc. Uh, a bit underwhelming. It's $25. Uh, it's supposed to be on sale for $15. Uh, it's $25 for me though. For anyone interested in this sort of thing, but not wanting to spend $25, you can basically just download a bunch of samples like this and just throw your own delay on them. Okay, we got we got the demo video. I'm sure this was well received. Let's check it out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, that one sounds a little generic there. The, what they had in the background of the video was pretty uh, organic sounding though. It's because this guy's white. He doesn't know how to do it. He just doesn't know how to do it. I'm sure there's some people who are just like, oh my God, the lasers. Which, yes, lasers are awesome, but you can do lasers for free, man. Yeah, they're smoking them in the comments here. I'm going to give them a little support. I'm going to give them a little support here. There you go. In our last story of the night, Autotune Pro 11 has been released. For those of you that don't know, it's a pretty common pitch correction tool. In this version, they have added a harmony player with four individual layers with controls for the layers, including an envelope, EQ, gate, stereo width. But they already had a plugin before this named Harmony Engine, which basically did something very similar, if not the same thing, with uh, a bit less control. One of the features is to quickly assign a MIDI controller which I don't know, I use Ableton, so I can already do that. <clears throat> so I'm not exactly sure the logistics of that. They've included a faster graph mode, uh, ARA2 support for Logic Pro, Studio One, Cubase. You still have access to the original Autotune effect. It is $459 new and $175 for an upgrade. <clears throat> if I'm being honest, I feel like they're running out of features here 
and uh, they're really ringing out people the last bit they can before they have nothing else left to add. Uh, from what I could see, people in the comments of the video were complaining about the bugs from the last version not being fixed while they're still while they're releasing this. Uh, the video is kind of funny. I might do a reaction and overdub on it and throw it up for uh, channel members and Patreon members. So you know, check that out. Join, join there if you want to check that out. I was going to put it in here, but I don't have time. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of WNN. If you press the like button on this video, I will make sure you can still listen to Funk and Dubstep in Russia or wherever you may please. If you want to support the channel, consider join my Patreon becoming a channel member. For as low as $5 a month, you get access to exclusive content and goodies and more. And it keeps me from having to ban genres that you listen to in your country. I'll see you guys next time. Incorporated.